No sooner had the FDA announced that there was a link between a rare form of cancer and the deaths of nine breast implant patients than plastic surgeons' offices around the country were flooded with concerned calls. That's why the Plastic Surgery Channel has moved quickly to quell those concerns. The first one, is this a new issue? Has it come out of the blue? This is not new information. This is something that's being researched and we know a lot about. We've known about this for seven to eight years. There's a wealth of information now and understanding of, of what, what this is. Um, the FDA has also been following this and, and they've issued statements about this over the years. And this is just an updated uh, statement. Their information sometimes lags behind the published literature and even some of the things that, that are being done, say at the research level, that's cutting edge and, and certainly relevant to, to patients. This is the first time that the FDA acknowledged in their update that breast implant ALCL is associated with one type of breast implant, and that's a, a textured surface breast implant. Now, is this issue related in any way to silicone breast implants? So it has absolutely nothing to do with the filler of the implant. Uh, the silicone implant controversy from many years ago is well known to everybody, but this entity has absolutely nothing to do with the fill of the implant. What is it about textured implants? Most of these cases are associated with chronic inflammation that's caused by bacteria around the implants. There's a gram-negative bacteria called Rastonia piketti. And, and the thinking is, is that may lead down the pathway of a, a breast implant ALCL. And right now, um, that's the pervasive theory. Breast implant ALCL, although the classification may change at some point, is a, is a rare disorder. It, it appears to be associated with one type of breast implant, which is a textured surface breast implant. All existing breast implant patients should be aware of this. And should they develop unilateral or bilateral breast swelling, they should contact their plastic surgeon and seek an evaluation immediately to rule out this condition. Patients who are desiring implants need to know this information. It's good to know about that. They should be informed about that. And then they should consult with their plastic surgeon to figure out what type of implant would be best suited for them. And lastly, you know, we really do know a lot about this subject now through a lot of good research. And we're doing a lot more research currently that we hope to learn even more that will benefit our patients.